With the end of January quickly approaching, farmers and ranchers are starting to gear up for spring's fast pace. While we've had some cold this January, we've also had a good number of warm days. That is pushing our crops and pests. Mesonet alfalfa weevil heat units have hit the scouting trigger at Idabel 150. Heat units will be collecting rapidly across the rest of the state in the days and weeks ahead. Another Mesonet heat unit advisor is for wheat first hollow stem. First hollow stem is the plant stage when continued grazing rapidly decreases grain yield. In the green, yellow, and orange map areas, we've already reached 576 heat units for wheat varieties in the early first hollow stem group. That is the trigger for checking early group varieties for first hollow stem. Middle group varieties have collected the same number of heat units, but have a higher heat unit trigger. Soil moisture at the 10 inch depth was only showing a few drier locations on Wednesday, Eva, Oklahoma City North, Norman, and Chandler. It was a whole different picture at 24 inches. Dark brown, dry areas were scattered across the state. Here's Gary with more on the impact of dry soil conditions. Thanks, Alan. Good morning, everyone. And Al is correct, though soil moisture problems at the deeper levels do indicate continued drought problems, more on the long-term level than the short-term level. And uh, we did get that good uh, storm a couple of weeks ago, which put down a lot of moisture across the state. But let's take a look at the drought monitor map and see what we have. Well, we still have a hodgepodge of colors all across the map, and that's really the uh, indication that some places have received really good moisture, other places still wanting moisture. We still have that extreme D3 or the red colors on the map uh, out across eastern Oklahoma, and we still have pockets of D2, that severe drought in central and northwestern Oklahoma, and then moderate to abnormally dry conditions scattered throughout much of the rest of the state. The chances for precipitation as we go into the future look sort of dim right now. If we look at the next seven days, of course, looks dry. Um, if we look out from the end of the month through the first few days of February, we do, do see those indications of increased odds of below normal precipitation. And during late January and early February, that is really dry. If we go out to the spring season, now we're looking at the Climate Prediction Center maps for the March through May period. We do see for precipitation, no real indications of above or below normal uh, precipitation totals uh, for those three months across Oklahoma or for much of the country, in fact. But if we look at temperature, we do see a clear signal for warmer than normal temperatures um, for that March through May period um, across Oklahoma and the rest of the, the southern tier of the United States. And as we know in Oklahoma, if you're warmer than normal, that can lead to problems with drought if you don't get the required amount of uh, moisture to uh, overcome that extra heat. So we will await our next big storm. Probably sometime in February we'll get a good rain and then hopefully that will get us some more improvements on the drought monitor map and we won't get too bad before then. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.